service to commemorate the victims of last year's Good Friday shootings. There, three were killed and two more were hurt, all African American. Two messages were shared. The first, never forget what happened a year ago. The second, love and unity will conquer hate. Two News reporter Max Resnick has more on their message of unity. Powerful voices. Providing a powerful message. Pastor Warren Blakeney, who led today's service, says the accused murderers, Jacob England and Alvin Watts, did not hurt race relations in Tulsa. They improved them. There were whites, blacks, and, and um, Hispanics and others who came together and said, we don't want that kind of thing in our city. It was Good Friday 2012 when police say England and Watts shot and killed William Allen, Bobby Clark, and Denier Fields. David Hall and Dion Tucker were also shot. They survived their injuries. Dozens of Tulsans, with unity in mind, honored the families affected. Pain felt around the country by people like Paul Sanders of Houston, Texas. It's to keep, it, keep a reminder and a memory of the things that happen and the response that we do as a result of it uh, would bring about more love and less hate. Commemorators marched to where William Allen was found dead. There, they held a candlelight vigil where they continued their message. We're trying to realize that we're one people and that we're affected by this all. All of us are, not just one group, not just one section of the city. England and Watts, due in court April 23rd, face murder and hate crimes charges. Prosecutors have said they'll seek the death penalty. Neither of the survivors nor the victims' families would comment on the service today. The pastor says the families appreciate the city's help and support.